I just thought to you know do a video with you and show you my latest Zara haul try them out for you um, give you style suggestions on how to style it just in case you were wondering how it fits or where to wear it to hey guys what's up welcome to my youtube channel my name is Tomiwa and today I'm just so excited to be sitting here right now I mean my last couple of videos have been very on the move and been more vlog style because I was out of town for a bit but it feels really good to be you know right here in my comfort zone sitting down and talking to you guys so let me know how's your day going I hope your day is going great um, and even if your day isn't going great I mean just let me know in the comment section they say problem shared is half solved so I'd like to believe that if you share it with me you know you'll feel lighter at least you have gotten it off your chest yeah um, if you haven't subscribed to this channel pretty pretty please hit that subscribe button you see on your screen and then turn on the notification bell so you get notified whenever a video goes up right so as I mentioned earlier well, I don't know if I mentioned it but as I mentioned I was out of town so I was in the UK for say three weeks three and a half weeks thereabouts and um, I mean if you haven't checked what I got up to during my stay in the UK check you know one or more of my travel vlogs and just see what I was up to and if you know me I mean if you're part of this family you know that I love fashion I mean I own a fashion brand called Ayaba check us out on Instagram Ayaba woman and when I'm not wearing Ayaba I am I literally live in Zara like trust me Zara just gets me I love the aesthetics, I love their clean lines, I love their staple pieces, timeless pieces. Zara is me, I'm the classic style personality, so Zara just appeals to my fashion sense. I did some shopping when I was away, of course, <laughs> and I cut me some Zara. Yeah, so I just thought to, you know, do a video with you and show you my latest Zara haul, try them out for you, um, give you style suggestions on how to style it just in case you were wondering how it fits or where to wear it to. I'm going to be just letting you know how I'll style the pieces I got and where I wear them to. So don't go anywhere, stick around. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you everything I got and tell you why I love them. Right. So let's start with this shirt. So this is a typical Zara Basics shirt. I got it in an extra small and I mean I love a good white shirt so everybody definitely needs a white shirt in their wardrobe. It's perfect for jeans, perfect for corporate, you can always dress it up or down. So this was a must, easy must have for anybody. And then you guys know I love my whites right so I got this white asymmetric neckline blouse it's really lovely it has like this open back yeah i know it's a little risky um i love the fact that one arm is sleeveless and the other arm is long sleeve it's also a bodysuit so you're sure that it stays securely inside um so with this one though as much as i love this blouse it's a little tricky for me because i realized that when i tried it on to be honest because i haven't worn it but i have tried it on and i realized that um i felt like i was being pulled to one side i don't know whether it was because i didn't wear it well the first time i tried it on but i'm going to try it on again and we'll see i got this an extra small as well um still on white I got this shirt that I actually really love. It's like a loose fit, you know. Um, I love this detail at the bottom. It's really, really chic. It has like elastic inside, and I love the fact that it's short in front and high at the back, so it has like this high low effect. This is definitely one of my faves. I got it in an extra small as well. Now, this one is pretty much the nude or mauve whatever color this is version of this top that I'm wearing so I had the white and I love the white so much so I decided to get it in another color hence I got it in this color so this is this 
Now, this is, oops, <laughs> this is another favorite of mine. It's like a satin top and it just feels so, so rich and exotic. I have worn this one out, um, as you would see in this picture that I posted on my Instagram. I really, well, I'm going to style it a different way from the way I styled it in that picture. I love this blouse. These jeans, I love, oh sorry, before I go to the jeans, the blouse, I think I got it in an extra small as well, but it's a, uh, it's an oversized fit, so it's probably going to fit like a size 8 as well, because I'm a size 6. Um, now on to these jeans, I really, really, <laughs> sorry for the emphasis, but yeah, I just wanted to show you how much I love these pants. Um, I love the fact, I love these cut out details on the knee. I love the fact that it has this straight 90s cut. I love the fact that the bottom is not hemmed. I love the fact that it's like stonewashed color and it just has this retro vibe that I'm totally digging. It's high waisted and the length is, you know, decent enough to wear heels on. So this is also one of my favorite purchases. So now, since we're still on pants, this is another pants that I really love. So I have been looking for like um, black boyfriend type jeans and I found this one. It's from Zara and it's, um, I think it's called the paper bag. I'll need to confirm. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link to everything that I got in the description box as long as it's still on the site. And if it's not on the site, I'm going to look for something that is similar to give you the you know, same effect. Um, but I really love the fact that this is baggy at the top, hemmed at the bottom. I love the elastic detail on the waist, so it has elastic detail, so it's really comfortable on the waist. I got this in a Europe 34, which is a size 6, I believe. And another favorite. And last but not least, actually this is not the last, <laughs> I got this skirt and blazer set. So it's a set, but I think it's sold separately on Zara. So you can get um, the skirt alone if you want to, and you can get the blazer alone if you want to. But I got them together because it's made from the same fabric. I love that it's made from this like chinos-like rustic type fabric. I love the tan color. I love the pockets, you know, um, I'm typically not a mini skirt person, but I saw this one and I just couldn't resist it. So here it is. I can't wait to style this. I think I have actually worn this on Instagram as well. So there's a picture on my Instagram that shows me wearing this with a tie and dye top and I loved the combo. I got so many compliments the I wore it. But today, I'm going to style it together with the blazer and let's see how that looks. And this is the blazer. I love the oversized. So the blazer has this oversized fit that Zara gets very well. So I love the oversized fit. I love the brown, you know, rustic type buttons. I love the flap. This blazer is just uber chic. I, it was my go-to blazer while I was in the UK. I think I wore it a couple of times. And I can't wait to wear it here in Lagos. And finally, 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 I got this bag. Now I absolutely adore this bag. It's, it's just cute and chic, you know. I love the straps. I probably wouldn't carry it with the straps, or I haven't carried it with the straps yet. I typically just always, you know, tuck it under my arm like a grab-on pouch, which is, but I love the details. It has these like rushed details. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. It has these rushed details here. I love the color. I love the cut. It's, I mean, it looks more expensive than it actually is, which is really good. And I mean, it's also one of my favorite buys from Zara. 
so now that i've shown you everything i got let's go and try them out okay first things first my mom probably shouldn't watch this video because of all this decolletage i'm showing but i thought to style the blazer and the skirt set you know alone without wearing anything just so that if you want to see how deep the plunge is you would now this is probably how i'll style it as a good omolua be that i am i wore this nude um, bodysuit under and i just decided to go all nude with this look I can totally see myself wearing this for like a fancy dinner. So next up is this shirt that I absolutely love. I love that it's free. I love the high-low effect. I have paired it with this leggings that has the white tracksuit um, line on the side. And I have worn like bold pink shocking shoes and bags with it. I'll definitely wear this on a date because I think it makes me look sophisticated. Now, next up is this satin shirt. This is also one of my faves. I love the oversized fit. I love the split by the side. It makes it very easy to tuck in. As you see, I tucked in one side. And I've, I have worn this with high-waisted jeans and um, red kitten heels and red purse. I'll also wear this on a date or to drinks with the girls. I don't know if it's because I got an extra small, but I still feel tucked to one side. You know in this top especially the side that has sleeves i love it nonetheless but let's talk about these jeans and the cutouts on the knees so chic i love the fact that your shoes just peep out at the bottom i love the way i styled this so and i really love the opening in this back it's so sad that it doesn't fit right now this is probably my favorite look from this try on haul i love the balance that the shoulder pad gives with tucked into this pleated high-waisted short size ironically also from zara from a couple of years back i have worn it with pvc sandals to give this you know laid back elegant look i have slung a purse across my shoulder i'll totally wear this for drinks or a night out so this shirt i got in an extra small but now i should probably have got it in a small because it's a bit tight you can almost see busting at the seams but we rock it like that i wore it with this cloth and um baby pink kitten heels and bag this is totally like a work look for me or any meeting or corporate event that i would have now remember this t-shirt from my last zara haul yes i wore it with this paper bag jeans with the elastic on the waist that part is like the best part about those jeans is really comfortable I have paired this with trainers for like a more casual look and i have also you know slung a pink purse across my shoulders just to add a pop of color usually when i wear black and white i always like to add like an element of color into what i'm wearing and to finish up this look or to just you know take it up a notch i have thrown across a blazer over my shoulders and i'll definitely wear this to you know maybe the movies because it gets pretty chilled or anywhere that you know i need a little extra comfort but i still want to look cute and you know in style <laughs> so yeah um i really like this look it's very laid back and like it's not every time heels sometimes trainers and baggy jeans and t-shirts and just you know <laughs> be relaxed before i even talk about this outfit can we just take a moment to appreciate this bag i really love this bag it's probably one of my favorite zara buys i'm sure like you might be wondering why <laughs> there's just something about it that appeals to me i love that i can sling it under my arm as a pouch and just elevate my look now this total neck t-shirt i have styled it with high-waisted shorts for my line ayaba and nude pumps and i just really like the look um, I remember I was a bit worried about this total neck because I was thinking Lagos weather, but it's very lightweight, so it's super comfortable and you don't feel hot. And again, to add another dimension to it, I'm going to sling this blazer. Yes, this is my favorite blazer over my shoulders. And you just see how it instantly elevates the look and just takes it from like, you know, nice to the bomb. <laughs> Yeah, so I would definitely wear this for like any style events I have. You know, there are all these social events in Lagos and this is dirty December. So yeah, <laughs> this is probably one of my go-to looks this December. I can't wait to rock this outfit like this for an event or for even drinks, to be honest. I love it. So that's it, guys. Those are my 
my new acquired or my newly acquired Zara bags and I'm so excited I can't wait to rock them out I actually already rocked some of them while I was in the UK and some what since I've been back I think but there's still loads of them that I haven't worn out so I literally cannot wait to wear them out so if you're not following me on Instagram follow me on Instagram and what's up to me what's up to me what sorry <laughs> to see you know firsthand when I wear these outfits and if you haven't subscribed to this channel pretty please subscribe to this channel I need all the subscriptions I can get and turn on the notification so you get notified whenever a video goes up um, what else let me know in the comment sections which of the outfits you were feeling which of them you would rock which of them is just way out of your comfort zone and if you style them differently also let me know till my very next video